So this is my gazebo I made and then my little gazebo up there which um, zoom in has a little weather vane on top and this has a little weather vane on top too and then this is the back side and over here is my outdoor kitchen um, so let's go in the outdoor kitchen first got it all cleaned up and there's my privacy fence back there so this is my outdoor kitchen and it has antiques and hodgepodge stuff I guess you might say that here and there that I picked up and my furniture. These are my cabinets. And my farm sink. Which I love. I love my farm sink. The running water. This here is rocks, the backsplash, all done by hand, so that was quite a feat, but I really like how it turned out. And then, of course, the floor, and the little table over here that leads out to all the other stuff that's going on outside. And then I have to, of course, have a chandelier. And at night, my little lanterns light up. It's very pretty. So, let's see here. Let's go outside. Lucy's looking for something in the barbecue pit. And this is the, the front of the outdoor kitchen. It's too bright to show you higher so I'm not going to. Then I have this rose bush over here that um, I got it I think at Safeway or something and it was just a little tiny thing and now it's just beautiful. Every year it comes back and this is my little um, flower garden but it's towards the end of August so my flowers are sadly gone but some are still hanging out not much and then this is my license plate slash um, hanging planners and then this is my, my brick fire pit area with Lucy <laughs> Lucy just she loves all the different furniture because she likes sitting in the different furniture and so the fire pit area is probably about 20 by 20 it's pretty good size um, and it's all ready for the festivities and then over here is my gazebo that I made uh, out of um, down trees and cedar trees and then it has cement floor in it and the ceiling which my husband did the ceiling did a beautiful job with it and I like it because it brings the inside out and so you can be in here and you can watch the birds the hummingbirds and bluebirds and everything else um, they make nests in here actually we had a hummingbird on the chandelier it was so tiny that we didn't know what it was but it was a little hummingbird with three baby hummingbirds and there's a little robin's nest right there and then I put stained glass and all the little 
little windows and uh, at night it lights up in here which is really pretty and then I have vintage furniture of course from a state sale type thing <laughs> um, just kind of very eclectic you might say um, but it's a fun space and then we have the 4x4s of course for just uh, this building's been up for over 10 years now so just want to have it you know stable <laughs> not that the wood wasn't stable because it's still pretty strong but you just you just will always want to reinforce things like that and so here you step out to you know, I guess because you could show you along the side this is my my garden and um, this is flowers on the other side of the gazebo which is there my birdhouse I have back here and then this way is my garden with my little garden gate and I put plastic down because I'm a, I'm a lazy plastic kind of gardener and this is my swing this is a grape arbor and I put a pulley system in it so you can sit underneath the grape arbor and with this here you can I don't know if it'll show it but you can swing yourself with the pulley system I made and it's like like tons of fun to sit out underneath the grape arbor and swing to your heart's content and this is my some my front yard which is big <laughs> and my pond's down there where the um, the green tarp is and this is my garden gate that I, I painted and and uh, my grapes and so it's it's kind of pretty I have more flower beds than I have anything else I think around here so getting back to what I was doing And this is the fire pit area. And then this is my pavilion. And then, of course, this is the pool area. <laughs> and then, back there's more stuff. But I just wanted to kind of show what this place looks like before the party starts.